everybody and welcome to getting ready for fourth grade math like a boss. My name is Miss McCarthy and I am your host. I am your teacher. I am here to help you get really strong and really fluent with the fourth grade math skills, at least the top eight math skills. So I'm not going to cover everything in this series, but I am going to cover the big ones that you need to know that will really help you be a boss, be a pro at your fourth grade math. So, um, today we're gonna we're doing week one, day one. We'll be working on reading and writing numbers. Okay, really, really important. We're gonna be going up to the millions place today. And um, so this whole series is actually part of a workbook. And at the end of the video, I will show you how to access the, the link to the workbook and be able to download it instantly. Um, so let's get to it and let me teach ya. Boss notes. Okay, everybody. So if you are using the same workbook that I'm using that I've created, which you can find in the description box below, you can find the link to download it. Um, then you will see the following digits right here under the boss notes section for week one, day one. Now I filled the entire thing in. So I'm gonna go through the chart and what you need to record. And then after the video, I want you to go ahead, not sorry, after I finish going over the boss notes, I want you to pause the, the video and go ahead and record everything in your chart. All right, so in third grade, we worked on the ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands place. So those should all be familiar to you. If not, it's okay, we're, we're gonna learn them now. So the three, I want you to write down that the three is in the ones place. The one is in the tens place, and the zero is in the hundreds place, okay? And the name of this period, you'll see the red part, the first three numbers going on. This is called the ones period, O-N-E-S, ones period, okay? And then after the ones period, we have a comma, and we move into the blue section on my chart, which is the thousands period. So I want you to record thousands period. Now there isn't really a place to put this, but I do want you to write this on your chart. Okay. So for the thousands period, we have the eight, which is in the thousands place. The digit nine is in the ten thousands place. And the seven is in the hundred thousands place. Okay. And that is the end of the blue or thousands period. Moving on to the green, which is separated by a comma, we move into the millions place, and we don't go any higher than the one millions place. So this is the millions period that we're starting, okay? And I want you to notice something, okay? I'm gonna demonstrate an O for the ones, T for tens, H for hundreds, and I'm gonna put a little star. And for these, I'm going to slide, okay? So right below in your chart, I want you to write this too. I'm going to explain why. I wrote down the, the line and the star in a second. This is the one thousands place, so O, ten thousands place, T, hundred thousands place, H, okay? Again, we're going to star the H and slide with a line for the T and the O. I'll explain why in a second. And then we move into the millions place. This would be the ones, the one millions place, okay? So, the reason, so you'll notice a pattern. We've got O-T-H, O-T-H, O-T-H. So it's one thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, one million, ten million, hundred million, one billion, ten billion, hundred billion. So, You'll see the pattern with that. Now, this is how we would read this number, okay? Four, we're, in the, we're ending the period, so million, seven, hundred. I put a little star there because I want you to say the name of the place. Seven, hundred, slide across, 
98,000. We don't say the zero hundreds, but if there were a number there, we would go a hundred and then slide 13. So let me read it again. Four million seven hundred ninety-eight thousand. And then we don't say the hundred place here. 13. That is how we would read it. So pause this tape, record this information, and let's get to it with some practice problems. All right, folks, here we are at the Learn It section number one. The directions say to use the information given in the table to complete the table. So we have the following. Here's what the table looks like. <laughs> uh, we got the standard form, which has been given to us. But we need to find expanded form one, expanded form one, expanded form two, and the word form. Okay, you might be saying, uh, Ms. McCarthy, what are the two expanded forms? What do you mean, one and two? I'll explain that now in the Learn It section. Let me make sure I can read the number first. 122,000, no hundreds, 46. So 122,046. Now for my first expanded form, the reason why I have two expanded forms here is because depending on where you live in the nation, <laughs> um, they might ask for it in a different way, okay? So this is the first type of expanded form. This is the basic one, what it used to be. In Florida, this used to be like the FCAT way to do it, but I'm going to show you the new way to do it. So two. the first digit is one, one, and I'm going to put zeros in place for all the others. So one, two, three, four, five zeros. One, two, comma, three, four, five. So 100,000, because the value of this one is 100,000. The value of this two is 20,000, because it's two, zero, 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 four zeros. 20,000 plus, so do you see how here, we're taking the original number and we are stretching it out, we're expanding it. 100,000 plus 20,000. Now we're on to the next digit, 2. The value of this 2 is 2,000 zero, 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 or 2,000. Plus, I've got a 0 in the hundreds place, so I can just skip that guy. I don't have to put 0. So 4, and the, the 4 rep is the value of this 4 is 40, 40, plus 40, plus, and then the value of this is just straight up 6. Okay, so 100,000 plus 20,000 plus 2,000 plus 40 plus 6 is the expanded form number 1. Now number 2 is a little bit different. Okay, here's what you do. You take the digit, we're going to start with parentheses, take the digit, so 1, and you multiply it by the value of the place. So 1 times, this is the hundred thousands place, so we're going to put 1 times 100,000 in parentheses, okay? Plus, the next digit is 2, so 2 times, it's in the ten thousands place, so 10,000, because 2 times 10,000 is 20,000, which is the value of that place. Plus, the digit is 2 times, it's in the 1,000s place, so I'm going to put 1,000, okay? Plus, again, we have 0, so we can just skip it, skip it. Okay, so plus 4, and that is in the 10s place, so I'm going to put times 10, because 4 times 10 is 40, and that's the value of that 4. Plus, the digit is 6. And it's in the ones place, so six times one. So that is the other way to model this number using expanded form. And the last one is word form. Let me get green. I haven't used green yet. Okay, word form. And basically with word form is if you can read the number, you can write the number. Hopefully you can write it, okay? If you can read it, you can write it. So let's read it again. 122,000. 46. If I can read it, I can write it. So write it in words. 122,000, 
comma, because I'm separating there, 122,040, F-O-R-T-Y, 6. 122,046. That is how you fill in the chart. Go ahead and pause this video. I want you to write everything down here. And then I want you to give number two a try on your own. See what you can do on your own and then play the tape. It's not a tape. I'm like stuck in the 90s. Play the video so that way you can see if you got it right. All right, pause. Let's get grooving with number two. Let's get grooving with number two. Okay. So for this table, they've given us the expanded form number one version. And we have to complete the rest of the table. So far. We've got 200,000 plus 80,000 plus 5,000 plus 700 plus 1. So that's our expanded form. And we need to condense that into our standard form. Okay, so for the first number, I see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 digits. So I'm just going to give myself some space. 1, 2, 3, comma, 4, 5, 6. Okay. The value of my 2 is 200,000. So in the 100,000th place, I'm going to put a 2. O-T-H, O-T-H. There's my 100,000s. Okay. The value of the, this is 80,000, so that means I need to have an 8 in the 10,000s place. Plus a 5 in the 1,000s place. Here's the 1,000s place. 1s, 10s, 100s, 1,000s. Plus a seven in the hundreds place, ones, tens, hundreds. There's my seven. And then a one in the ones place, ones. How do I fill that empty space? Right, I just put a zero. So if I don't have a value, that means I gotta put zero as a my value because that when you have no value, it's zero. Okay, so the standard form would be like that. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and record my do, 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 star, and go, star, so H, O, T, H, O, T, H, that helps me to organize my thinking, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and read this number, and I'm going to skip down to the word form now, because if I can read the number, I can write the number, so 285,007, Hundred one, two hundred eighty-five thousand seven hundred one. So I'm going to go ahead and record that in my word form. Two hundred eighty-five thousand. And again, I starred my two in the hundreds place because I say the name hundred. And then I do a little slide because I slide across the rest. 85. 285. 285,000, comma, 5 is in the hundreds place, so I say that place. 500. Nope. 700. My bad. Looking at the wrong digit. 700. Slide across. 1. 285,701 would be my expanded form. So all we have left now, I'm sorry, it would be my word form, and now I need my expanded form, number two, that other way to write expanded form. So I've got two, two times, it's in the hundred thousands place, so I write 100,000, because two times 100,000 is 200,000, that's the value of my two, plus, Eight times, that's in the ten thousands place, so eight times ten thousand plus five times one thousand. Five times one thousand, because my five is in the one thousands place, plus seven times, and it's in the hundreds place, so seven times one hundred, which would give you seven hundred, that's the value of my seven, plus nothing in the tens place, so just skip it. 1 times 1. 1 times 1. Bada bing, bada boom. If you need to pause this video to record the information in the chart, that is totally cool. Do what you got to do. And that is it for today. And this was not called the learn it section. My error. This was called the practice it section. 
whoopsie doozies. We all make mistakes. Practice ah. it. Okay. Today's bee message is to be bold like a boss. When you are bold, that means that you do what you know is right, even if you might be a little bit afraid. So this week, look for an opportunity to stand up for yourself or maybe for someone else and be bold like a boss. Get ready, be ready, like a boss, like a boss, boss mode. Ooh, that math, I'm getting strong.